I believe in Christ as a Muslim. I believe in Christ, yeah. right? He was but Isa. Isa, yes. Walaikum salam. Okay, forget that. Do you think if you agree that this is God, yes. that it's right to print him on a piece of paper? But you printed God on paper. Don't you find that blasphemous? This type of coloring of, of, of idea is what makes white people feel superior because they have the skin color of God. This isn't how God looks. So is there any possibility that when she was remembering this image, she might have forgot some details, true or false? True. Exactly, so how could this be God? I think God looks like this. You think God looks like a human being? Absolutely. Oh my goodness, how can you say that? God is beyond any of our understandings, yes. more beautiful than a human being. Yeah. Absolutely. Then how can you draw him? So if you've never seen like. Jesus, how do you know that he looks like this? You want to believe in how you want to believe him? That is totally fine. Okay, with all due respect, do that. But I'm just saying, is, doesn't it make more sense to not draw him? We don't draw the Prophet Muhammad because peace and blessings be upon both of them. He's too beautiful to capture. My brother, he's so beautiful to capture. Jesus is so beautiful to capture. There's nothing that could, I honestly, curse the hands that even tried to draw him. He's such a beautiful human being. Oh my God. I'm liking this. MashaAllah, I'm able to get the proper light over here. MashaAllah, this is good. Guys, I woke up today with an immense amount of gratitude. And I wanted to show you my gratitude by letting you know that I'm out here making a video. This reminder, instead of being in the comfort of my backyard or the deck or my classroom, it's at a different level today of out of just love that I have for you guys. That I'm in the middle of the street. I'm essentially, I'm in the middle of the street. This is, this is the street. I don't know if you can tell. And I'm just here making a reminder for you all. And that reminder is essentially, Assalamu Alaikum. And that essentially reminder is that don't wait to give people their flowers. I hope you understand what I mean by that. Don't think that, you know, the, anytime someone passes away, that's when you start realizing how much this a person was awesome or amazing. You know, don't wait until things and people are taken away from you before you can learn to appreciate them. You understand? Don't wait until, you know, they're gone out of your life before you can actually appreciate these people. You know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends people. This is crazy. This is so crazy. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends people in your lives to help us. Help us realize something. It was a purpose. You know, the message of Islam came to you. That means that it was meant for you. It's simple as that. You know, I'm in the middle of the street. Who's listening to me? They got a Jesus poster right over there. What? Come on. This message of Islam, if you are a Muslim, or if you've heard the message of Islam, it's special. Your ears heard it. And, you know, in this day and age that we're in of technology, no one has any excuse to not know about Islam. No one does. I'm literally this GameStop back over there. I'm working my way to actually try to get a PS5. It's going to be sold out. We're going to get a PS5. Inshallah. Inshallah. We're getting a PS5 and we're giving it away, right? We're going to ask for, for some Islamic questions and it's just going to be sick. It's going to be absolutely dope. Look at this. We're in the middle. They see me. And, and you know what, the reason I'm letting you know this right now, and this is a thank you video. That's what this is. This is a video letting you know that I love you so much. I'm immensely in love with you guys. You know, for a person to become a YouTuber or for a person to gain a following or subscribers or whatever the case might be, it has to show that there's some type of interest that you have in them. There's some type of relationship, a connection that you've built with them. And honestly, that requires a lot of trust on your end. And I'm sorry if I've ever betrayed your trust. Honestly, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for videos that I've made that might not have been that good. I'm sorry. And you know what? Those videos might have caused me to get discovered, but I'm not proud of them. I'm really not. I wish I could do it differently, but this was all part of the plan of Allah to get me where I need to be. But if I knew better, I'd do better, right? I didn't know any better. But the fact that you still stuck with me and you stayed with me and you're still with me even this right now, just I want to say thank you and I love you. You believed in me. You believed in me when no one else did. No one else did. Some of you are saying, SQ, I've been here since you had 10K subscribers. Someone said 5K. Someone even said 2K. Someone said 300. There's some of you guys who are just such OGs over here that I have no other way to thank you but praying for you. Honestly, there's nothing I could do for you at all. I don't care. If you met me, it'll give you a PS5. It can't. It doesn't, it doesn't make up for how much you mean to me, how much value uh, you guys bring to me and, and, and it belongs to me. You get me? But I love you guys. I love you 3,000. That's an Iron Man reference. But yeah, I just wanted to come out here and just let you know that I love you and I appreciate you. I love you and appreciate you. That's what this is. 
letting you know that I will go to the ends of the earth for you guys. I would. I would. It's expensive. These things are expensive. I'm, I'm, it's only so many sponsorships I'm getting. I'm trying to create a Patreon. So a lot of people have been asking how they can support. Maybe through this Patreon link. Uh, maybe I'll have it created so that you guys can start supporting now. You know, by the time this video is uploaded. But I love you 3,000, guys. I do. I'd do anything for you guys. I'd do anything for you guys, honestly. I would, because I, I, I want to bring you entertaining, halal content. Content that's at a level that no one's doing. I want to bring that for you guys. And if in the process I got to give up what I have for that, give it up and say I don't have anything else, give up my wealth, give up everything just for the sake of Allah to do something that's never been done before. And I could just tell my wife and my children that the only thing I left them is Allah, His Messenger, His book. That's all I left for them. Then that's all I want to leave. That's all it is. But this is going to be the legacy. This is going to be the legacy. How are you going to uh, disarm Islamophobia if you're not talking to people? These people are kuffar? They're kuffar? That's what they're kuffar? Really? They know nothing about Islam. We're just sitting on our asses doing nothing to educate these people about Islam. These are the kuffar? They have no idea what's happening. They're kuffar. They're hiding and somehow burying the truth. They are. These random strangers walking by who have parashaniya, worried, stress. All these things. There's so much anxiety. People have problems. They're kuffar. They don't have time for any personal health. They don't know about the message of Islam. They just don't. And it's our job. It's our job. They're giving this. See? They're giving free holy uh, rosaries gratis. Santos Rosarios. And I'm not going to go and have a conversation. I could have a conversation with them. Would you guys be interested in that conversation? What do you guys think? Yes? Yes? That's nice. That's nice. Are these holy rosaries? Are you giving these out? Yes, sir. Okay, do you mind if I have one? What color would you like? I have black, white, dark blue, light blue, green, and pink. Give me green because that was the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him's favorite color. Give Amen. me green, please. Thank you. Hold on a second. I got one more for you. Here you go. So let me ask you a question. Yes, sir. Is this how Jesus looks? Actually, what I've been told and what I studied, Jesus looks like this. So what is this then? This is the divine mercy. This is a no, no, no. His, okay, yeah, go on. Jesus. Yeah. In an apparition that was presented to Saint Faustina. Saint Faustina. Saint Faustina. She okay. was an eyewitness who gave an artist this description of Jesus. Okay. And they have two different ones. This is called the Vinius, and that one's called the Hyla. But I'm asking about their skin color. Uh, we don't know. Because then why would you draw him if you don't know? That she gave. I mean, for me, yes. It doesn't matter. Sure, I agree. But then why why can't he be Hispanic? I don't know. But why aren't you drawing him Hispanic? Why are you drawing him as a white man? That's what I'm trying to say. Like, he could be easily Puerto Rican. Well, Why not, I right? He's the same complexion as I am, and I'm not white. <laughs> well, you're Hispanic looking. You wouldn't fit in a white person's place. They would think of you as colored, just to be, with all due respect, you know? I'm a school teacher over here, by the way, right? And there are no white kids in my school, right? There's light skinned kids, okay. but there's no white kids here, you know? Our white kids are in Manhattan and stuff like that. But the reason is, is this, the reason I'm asking you is this, is because this type of coloring of, of, of idea is what makes white people feel superior because they have the skin color of God. This isn't how God looks. I can't, you think this is how God looks? I, I no think, way. I think God looks like this. You think God looks like a human being? Absolutely. Oh my goodness, how can you say that? God is beyond any of our understandings, yes. more beautiful than a human being. Yeah. Absolutely. Then how can you draw him? But you remember. I didn't draw him. No, but you accept it to be a drawing. That was a vision. Sure, from whom? A saint. St. Faustina. Got you. And Got her you. direct account of what she saw Fair. was given to an artist. Fair. And that's the description. Fair. I've never seen Jesus. Sure. This is the closest thing that I have. So if you've never seen like. Jesus, how do you know that he looks like this? I don't think a saint would lie about something like that. I agree. I agree. But let me ask you a question. Is it possible for a saint to have the wrong dream? Sure. Okay, then. It's how do we know this is it? There's too many eyewitness accounts and too many people that corroborate his story. I'm not saying that Jesus didn't the exist. Of Fatima. Okay, so here, here's the thing, right? I'm not saying that you shouldn't believe in Christ. I believe in Christ as a Muslim. I believe in Christ, yeah. right? He was but Isa. Isa, yes. Walaikum salam. Okay, forget it. So here's the thing. Absolutely, my bro. So here's what I'm saying. Isn't it more respectful to not draw him at all? I believe him in how you want to, but isn't it more respectful to not draw him? If he came all the way here to present himself as a vision to us who are so unworthy, sinful, we should accept that as a blessing and a grace. And may God have mercy on the soul who ever falsely says 
that they have seen God for their own personal interests. Amen. Amen. Do you think there's people who do that? I do. Yes. And let me tell you something right now, sir. These saints that you're talking about, what was their skin color? I don't know. I haven't seen all of them. Yeah. But most likely they Saint are. Saint Martin the Porus was black. He was black. Yes. One out of... I don't how many? know how many. That's a bad ratio. It's unfortunate. Just saying, it's unfortunate ratio. So doesn't it show up? But this is what I'm trying to say. You want to believe in how you want to believe him? That is totally fine. Okay, Thank with you. all due respect, do that. But I'm just saying, is, doesn't it make more sense to not draw him? If out of I, respect. Out of I, respect. If I honestly saw God and he's telling me, draw me on this image. He said that. Yes. So she's so saying that, that Jesus everything. said to draw him yes. and present him. Yes. Okay. I wish That's I had interesting. all the material and I was a little bit more educated on this, but no, no, no. I, I think he wanted everyone to know that his mercy is if, limitless. That's you, what the white and the red are. It's okay. So here's the thing, right? The mercy cannot be limitless if God has to send a physical person to get sacrificed to be forgiven. His mercy is not limitless because it's a limit because you need to sacrifice someone. Hence, it's not limitless. Limitless means with or without a sacrifice. Sacrifice. If you bow your head to the ground and you ask Allah's forgiveness, He will forgive you because that's limitless. Make sense? So, be, so this is that's my understanding of it. God is limitless. He doesn't need to send someone to be sacrificed. That's a pagan idea. With all due respect, this is nothing against you. I believe in Jesus Christ. Peace and blessing be upon him. And I know you said Isa, so that clearly shows you have an understanding as well. But th that's the point I'm trying to say. We don't draw the Prophet Muhammad because peace and blessing be upon both of them. He's too beautiful to capture. My brother, he's so beautiful to capture. Jesus is so beautiful to capture. There's nothing that could, I honestly, curse the hands that even tried to draw him. He's such a beautiful human being. Oh my God. Thank you for How can, that highly of God. Absolutely. But, but you see, I can't be he's. But, someone, but here's the thing, right? You said something interesting. Count is what they saw. That's absolutely and true. It's corroborated by witnesses. That's fine. I could corroborate witnesses all day long, too. You know, when you say something long enough and lo like as loud enough, people sure. will believe you. Excuse me one second. Yes, please, please, guys. Yeah. You see, guys, we're out here. I'm going to go back, but I'm just saying I appreciate you. And I love you 3,000. I hope you guys understand what I mean by this. I'll probably have more conversation with them after the camera or off the camera. But just want to let you know that I love you 3,000. That's what it is. And I'm willing to do anything because this is it's, it's, just, it's for the people, bro. The people, they can't be going to the hellfire. Why should I want him to go to the hellfire or her to go to the hellfire? Why? Why go to the hellfire, man? This could be avoided. If we talk to people, people are listening. This is what Jesus, Jesus does not look like this. Jesus does not look like this. You could print God on a paper. This is interesting. Oh, I'm sorry, man. This is interesting. I'm Julio, by the way. SQ, nice to meet you, Julio. Yeah, I'm a YouTuber. This is my mother, Lydia. Love God, love everybody, no matter color, no matter who. That's interesting. I believe in that. I agree with that. Let me ask you something, ma'am. Oh, God bless you. Do you think if you agree that this is God, yes. that it's right to print him on a piece of paper? Absolutely. Really? So I can drop God? I won't do it out of respect, but okay. you're telling me I can drop God? People can do whatever they want. But, but this is what I'm trying to say. I wouldn't do such a thing. God. I, I wouldn't. But you printed God on paper. Don't you find that blasphemous? No. Ooh. People need an image you don't think statues. so? What is we the first faith. command? What is the first command by God? I love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul. What's the second command? Thou shalt not. No. And I know you're waiting for this one. Please say it, sir. Pray for idols or anything that is pagan. But that's not an idol. And that's not this pagan. is not an idol? No, sir. Habibi, do you think this is an idol? Yes or no? No. He's saying it's not an idol. You don't think this is an idol? So if I hung this in my house, is that an idol? No. So you're telling me if I hung a picture of what I believe God is in my house and I prayed to him, is this an idol? There's an idol and there's God. That's okay. God. So you're saying that God One can be printed three. on paper? Yes. God can be printed on paper? He can be put on plastic, okay. on a cross. Okay, fair, fair. I, no, I, I, I respect be, that idea. It could be an image in your head. It could be a feeling in your heart. God out of respect cannot be an image in your head because God is not something that we can imagine. He's beyond our beauty and our, and our understanding. Is. I totally agree with so you. So this, this idea that God and is a human say, being. I'm please, please, please. Man. I'm not a, I'm No, not that's fine. And so am I. So am I. And listen, this is not about theology, depth, Julio. But these are my understandings. Yeah, that's fine, Julio. And listen, and this is with all due respect. So, I'm not having this so that we can have a fight. No, it's no, not that. No, it's just to have a discussion. And this is what I'm trying to say, Julio. If you're truly a man of God, and I'm a man of God as well, and you're a woman of God, and I believe we are people of God, they might remain to choose quiet, but they're also Muslim. I asked them if this is an idol and it's sad that they said this is not because as a Muslim we believe that it is an idol they denied it that's on them but I will say this right now I will tell you this sir that 
If God exists, which I believe he exists, there is nothing that is the likeness of God. No human being, nothing. We believe that we were created in the likeness of God, okay? That means God is all forgiving. He is Al Ghafur, the one who forgives the largest of sins. We are created in his image because he is the absolute forgiving, but he's given us pieces of forgiveness, meaning I can forgive you, but that's a quality from God. That's not a human quality. When we act and behave in a nice way, those are qualities of God. So when I have mercy, that's Ar Rahman, right? When I have mercy, that is a quality of God absolute but here's the problem with that my mercy is limit limited his is limitless so if you did something you killed a family member of mine I might not be to fully forgive you because I'm human being I'm flesh right God but God can Absolutely. but God cannot be printed on a piece of paper I'm just telling you right now and and this is what I'm trying to say because guess what God should not be able to be ripped off I can understand if the Quran people burn Quran that's wrong right and I understand that you shouldn't be able to do that to a book but to print God on from a printer bro how can we say that's God when he gave us the intelligence to print him well, are we saying we're more intelligent than God that we can print God on paper no what we what we can say is that we cannot capture the fullness the essence the spirit of God in an image but Thank to give you. people you no cannot, but to yes. give people an idea of what this image stands for in the message is that the blood and water gushed forth from the heart of him was a fount of mercy for everyone I agree I agree. Jesus was sent to as a mercy to mankind. Wouldn't you agree? Yes. Absolutely. Show me, and, and this is not to go back and forth, sir, but it's to let you know that if you're saying the commandments, and when Jesus was asked what was the most important commandment, it was thou know no God but me, right? The Father, it's one God. There's the right? second one that he said that's most important. What, that what, what is that? I love one another as I have loved you. At, but that's not from the Ten Commandments. What's no, the Ten Commandments? that's in addition. To, well, the Ten Commandments, let me run them down. The law, the really law of it. Moses. Thou shalt not yes. lie, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's things, honor your mother and father, keep the Sabbath holy, love your God above all, there should be no gods but me. Yes. And I might be missing another two because I haven't looked them up in quite sure. some time. But, That's fair. But I Idols. have to look them up. Idols. Yes. Idols was one of them. Making idol images. Let me tell you something, sir. If I were to frame this, put it on a wall, this is an idol image. For you. For anyone, sir. It's an idol image. For me, that is what God. Jesus looks like right here. So let me tell you something. Is it possible, is it possible that when I'm giving you a description of an image and you're the artist and I have to do that, is it possible? Have you ever had a dream, sir? Yes. Right? And have you ever had such a vivid dream that even though when you, after two, three hours, remember it, you might have forgotten some details of it? True or false? Absolutely. There we go. So is there any possibility that when she was remembering this image, she might have forgot some details? True or false? True. Exactly. So how could this be God? Because she could have forgotten something. It is the best account from her eyewitness a Absolutely. That's and out of respect, you should. That's not a dream. That's a vision. So she, she had a vision. Yes. What, okay. So to have a vision, are you saying that she's a prophet? I don't know if she's a prophet. But a prophet, has, she but a prophet has visions, and Jesus warned us against false prophets. We could all, oh, I'm sorry. Jesus warned us against false prophets. Yes, yes yeah. he definitely yeah, did, and, and, and they are false prophets. They, I agree, but, but people saying that they have visions, that they saw God, sir, seems kind of neurotic. Sure, because you're not, what makes you so pure? What makes you so oh, pure? I'm not, sure. I'm not saying you, not you, not you. Same here, and so is that saint. I'm letting you know, sir, because no. what happens between her and God is something private that no one knows. You and I don't know what her vices are. No. We don't know it. Don't. You understand? And we all do sins privately. To assume that she doesn't sin privately is falsehood. We could assume the best in her, but she wasn't. She's not Jesus, so she can't be perfect, right? Well, She's not a prophet of God, so she can't be perfect. So is there a chance that she could be a sinner on the low? Yes or no? Yes. Exactly. Hence, you cannot trust an eyewitness account of this, sir. Wow. You cannot, you cannot draw, you can, that's have fine. You ever, but that goes against a, your values, so that no, goes against no, your senses. Have you ever had a feeling without any proof or anyone to corroborate it that you yeah. knew was true? Sure, sure. Have you ever experienced anything supernatural? That's called subjective truth. Subjective truth. That's can called you subjective truth. Yeah, better? it's exactly what you said. When you have a truth that's only true to you and can only be proven through you or to you. Objective truth means that I can state any point and it would be true for anyone to agree or disagree upon. That's called an objective truth. What you're saying is having a personal vision, that's a subjective truth. An objective view, uh, truth would be everyone had the vision, right? And we all left it for interpretation. The interpretations would be subjective. Objective would be a truth that everyone could sort of prove. What I'm saying about this as an idol worship, I can objectively prove that to you right what you're saying to me but I don't think so that's subjective so objectively you know within your heart that what I'm saying makes sense all I'm saying is this look believe what you want to believe but drawing Jesus is not okay 
It's just not because you're not, his beauty cannot be captured. And on top of that, you're saying he's God. You're saying that you can be, you could draw God. That makes zero sense. And that takes away from God's beauty, his shine, his majesty. We're just human beings. How can I even, how can this be God, bro? I can rip this off. I wouldn't do such a thing, but I'm saying I could rip this off. This is symbolic. This is not God. This is symbolic of your faith. That's all it is. No, this is not symbolic. This is history. If Jesus died on the cross for all our sins. Okay, let me, let me say this now, sir. Let me ask you this now, sir. Okay, when is Jesus' birthday? I don't know the day of Jesus' birthday. Apparently it is when? The beginning of time started and ended with his death. Pause, Year pause, pause. One. December 25th is his birthday, true or false? December 25th is Christmas. That's know, not Jesus' birthday. I don't know the exact day Jesus was born, the hour or what, but that is the celebration of Christmas. Okay, so why is that the day of the celebration of the Christmas? That is, I think, the nativity with the birth of Jesus Christ, but the actual time and date, I don't know. Okay, so... But the celebration of Jesus' birth is on Christmas. Okay, so here's the thing, right? As someone who has faith, you would acknowledge that Christmas nowadays is just about marketing about spending money. It's not, it's, it's lost its Christ image that it was supposed to be in, right? It was supposed to be something holy. You were supposed to go to church. You were supposed to do things of nature that are spiritual because it reminds you of the first day of born and death and all that sort of stuff. I get it. It's a very holy day. Then comes Easter, another holy day. Isn't it crazy how the media has made a, Easter, a day that's supposed to be so special, into about bunny rabbits? Isn't that, isn't that interesting? A day about Christmas, well, the, the birth of Christ. Done that. People that's, have done that. Yes, they have. Your Pope has legalized homosexual, homosexual marriages. True or false? That's false. He agrees with civil unions, but not marriage through the church. So civil unions. So is he giving the green light for, uh, for homosexuals to get married? Yes or no? I have no idea what his firm position is. On Are you a Catholic, sir? Heard. Yes, I am. Okay, so then you have to follow what he's saying. True. I don't have that information on hand, so I can't say yes Then you no. should Google it. Then you should Google it. I That's will. what he said. But, but actually, that's what I'm trying to say. I actually have a good video that I saw on that which gives a good interpretation. It's called the Marian Helpers. Okay. And explains specifically, I don't remember all of it, what they were saying that the Pope said recently about gay marriage. Okay. And he's, I think he said something towards the lines of who is he to judge? He only said love everybody. There's love. love everybody. There, there is love. Not so do sins exist? Married, Absolutely. So are you saying homosexuality is not a sin? Yes, it is. It is a sin. It is a sin. Okay. So the it, act of so homosexuality or being a homosexual, which one? The act of sexuality, the inclination of being gay is not a sin. People are born that way. But if okay. we have even heterosexual Fair. men, Fair. it is a sin if we fornicate. Absolutely. We to be out there whoring ourselves, having children Absolutely. out of wedlock, Absolutely. sinning. These are all, I like, like, I like more of these conversations where we see what Muslims, Jewish, and Catholics have in common together. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I'm and learning that's from you and I hope you say, can Are you coming every like Sunday? Every whenever uh, I can. <laughs> when, when's the next time you're going to be here? I have no idea. Whenever we're the permitting. Weather permitting, I'm not. Yeah. Sorry, guys. The, the video just ended because I ran out of, I ran out of uh, battery. But the conversation continued. I'm sorry that it ended abruptly. But I would like to end this with a note saying that I do love you 3,000.